Hello and welcome to the Nitty Kitties channel with me Annie Art Nettie and today we're bringing you a diamond painting from victoriasmoon.co.uk I got an unexpected email off them saying would I review one of their diamond paintings for free they'd send me one for free and I was like absolutely yes I was uh, very excited so they said pick whichever one you want now say a certain size and it's like diamond painting is like little jewels that you'll stick on almost like a cross stitch but with tiny little plastic jewels and you could pick either square ones or round ones so I had that choice as well and they said whichever one you want so I looked at and there's absolutely thousands on there so I was absolutely spoiled for choice and uh, they said I, I picked something around the theme of Nitty Kitties, which is our channel, so I tried to keep it in the theme. So what we're going to do today is unbox it. I've not had a sneaky peek or anything like that, so I don't know what to expect. I just want to be an honest and impartial reviewer on this channel right from the beginning. If it ever happens again, which I, I'm just... It was out of the blue, totally out of the blue I didn't expect it at all so if that ever happens again we are honest and impartial we, we'll give it straight to you what we think of these things so let's 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 crack on and see what we've got so what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go and visit the website I haven't got a Blue, what to expect. That's very pretty. Mm. I can say it's very well wrapped anyway. <laughs> so we've got they go by different names these. They are like um 5D diamond painting, drill art. Uh, I first found them these kind of things on a site called wish.com and they do a separate little shop called geek and it came up and I thought well that looks great and it turned up and it's like the numbers corresponding to the colors is actually the same as the threads you'd use if you're a cross stitcher so if you wanted to turn that chart into a piece of cross stitch you can do that so let's have a look anyway see what we're dealing with wow okay number one non ironing so when these come sometimes I've had some absolutely terrible ones and some absolutely amazing ones from different companies some of them are half drill which is where some of it's painted on the picture and you only put little jewels on certain bits and the whole thing is kind of sticky so the diamonds just stick to this surface but other ones are a full piece so I think this is a full piece if I remember rightly that I picked and some of them turn up and half the jewels are missing or sometimes they come folded up but I do believe and there's plenty of videos on YouTube that you can actually iron it because it's made of kind of a cloth but be very careful I'd, I'd make sure you do your research on that and you can flatten it out I know some people who do diamond painting and they tend to put it under books very weighty books for a while to try and ooh, ooh, to try and um, I just got wow that's very pretty wow <laughs> oh, I'm blown away. I've never seen nothing like this in any diamond painting I've ever got. And I tell you, I've, I've done about maybe 50 of them. But that is so pretty. Look at that. Oh. So this is, I think this is, it's amazing, whatever it is. I think this is what you use to stick the diamonds on. I'm just really excited. That's so carried away. <laughs> Oh, I'll have to show you one. Uh, if that's what I think it is, I shall have to show you once I've unboxed it all. <laughs> so this is the usual thing that you get, actually. Ah, 
right, so it's not a wonder then. Right. Oh! So this, the little diamonds, which I'll show you in a minute, you pop them in the tray and you do, I do it colour by colour, but different people do it from top to bottom so they, you don't lose the sticky. I think that's come off that. Now, some people use the tweezers and put them on individually, which can be quite painstaking. Or uh, other people use this. So you put them on individual with that size. You kind of pick them up like that, or pick them up from the tray and pop them onto the diamond paint like that. Or you can get this side where you can put several of them. You've got them in the tray there. Say if you've got five or six of the same color in one row, if you can imagine like cross stitch and then you can plunk them on like that now this makes it a bit easier to pick them up it's like it's got a coating on either side and you just get a bit of that and then you can pick up the diamonds and I have heard some people use blue tack as well and it lasts longer but I've never tried that myself I'm not entirely sure what that is but maybe it means that it can stick to the now what all the goodies are in here, this is exciting. Ooh. It's like Christmas, birthdays. Feels absolutely spoiled. Right, there's nothing else in there. So I'll just pop that out of the way. Whoops, easy. Just pop that out of the way. So, wow! That's <laughs> absolutely massive. So this is the canvas that you work on and it's got a little steampunk cat. I remember now. And there's 34 different colours and each one of them corresponds to a particular DMC thread if you're a cross stitcher. And each one has got a different symbol and it you do them on this grid and follow that. Now I'm not going to take this off until I start doing it and we're going to do a time lapse of me doing this. But that let's pop it down there it's a very good one you can tell because it's there we go so you can see the the pattern and each one of them squares is a little jewel so it feels it feels very good quality compared to some of them are not so great but it those folds will come out actually if you roll it up in the opposite direction, that's the method I usually use. But that is absolutely huge. I was not expecting it to be that big. Whoa. So these are the little, they're called drills. And if you see, there's, all the different colours there and if I can take one out yeah if I can take it out I'll pop it in the little tray so you, you find out which colour you're doing first I usually go from the smallest amount to the biggest and the biggest is usually black but it's different for every single one so I'll pop a few of them on there and if you can see they're little little squares so what you do is you get a bit of the pink goop there and then pick it up with that and then pop it onto the corresponding square just as you would with cross stitching with a bit more fun so I'm overwhelmed that's really 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 generous and they look really good quality as well. Some of them I've had which are absolutely terrible and some of them were half bits or the canvas itself, it wasn't sticky enough. This one's really strong. So I'm really, really looking forward to this and I'm absolutely overwhelmed. Thank you, Victoria's Moon. That was ever so generous of you. I can't thank you enough. And this has blown me away. I'll find out what it is and I'll definitely use it in the video. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do a time lapse of me doing this 
I have to find somewhere to do it because it's bigger than I expected and um, after that, after the video, what we'll do is we'll do a reaction, I'll tell you exactly what I think of it and I'm already blown away, I think it's amazing. <laughs> But um, thank you again, victoriasmoon.co.uk. And if you go on there, there's a massive choice. Absolutely overwhelmed. You'll be overwhelmed. Uh, I do believe I'll be receiving a discount code. I'll pop that in the description and the following videos. If you like what you see. And uh, I'll, I'll leave it at that. And I'll. Looks like I'm going to be very, very busy. <laughs> I thank you again, thanks for watching and thanks again LV426 Media for filming and music and everything that it does is absolutely marvellous and thank you all for watching if you do like this and you want to see the time lapse and the following videos please like and give us a subscribe and we'll see you again soon thank you very much bye for now <laughs>